Hey go fam, it's your girl Mo back with another video. And this is a short video just showing y'all guys uh, what we're eating tonight. And this is something that I haven't done in a long time. And this is some um this is some beef net bones up top, and the rest of these are um oxtails. So we are doing an oxtail dinner tonight over some rice and some vegetables and so much else. It and I'm gonna show y'all some seasonings that I use to make uh, my uh, oxtails, uh, cook my oxtails. Okay, so of course you're gonna need some water to add here, but when you're in the Instant Pot, you don't need to add a whole lot of water. All right, so this is a um, beef net bone slash oxtails. I only have like four uh, of the beef net bones, but the seasoning that you're gonna use is, you're gonna use this right here. Yeah, you're gonna need some beef flavor bouillon. Also, you guys, is some season salt. Season all is what I use, it's my favorite. I'm gonna use garlic powder, onion powder, black pepper. Also, we're gonna add the handy dandy white vinegar. You put a little bit of vinegar in So first, I'm gonna start off with my vinegar, y'all. So just hold on one second. So I'm gonna add a little bit of vinegar, not a whole lot of white vinegar. Okay, and I'm gonna add my water last, and I'm gonna go to you with my seasoning, y'all. All right, so I'm gonna start with my season all seasoning. I don't put a whole lot because I'm using some beef bouillon and I'm not gonna use a whole lot of that either. Because I don't want this food to be too salty. My garlic powder. Some black pepper. Y'all excuse the background noise, y'all. These kids are very chaotic. Just excuse us, okay? And I forgot to say that I am also going to add a little bit of this complete seasoning by Batia. Just a little bit. And we're going to go with our beef bouillon. So just a little bit of teaspoon of that. And this is all you're going to need, y'all guys, because I'm going to tell you something. You don't want it too salty. Just a little bit more because have a lot of bones. It depends on having the bones you have too, but like I said, you don't want to put it a lot. Okay, so now we're going to add some water because you don't need a whole lot of water because it can bring some water on its own. So that's pretty much it as far as water. And we're going to put our top on, y'all, and see how it's cooking. All right, y'all, so here is the end results of the beef net bones and and that delicious oxtail. This is the oxtail, y'all. Looks so delicious. Ooh, all that smoke. Now I'm trying to find the neck bone. Like this is the beef neck bone right here. And I add like one pack of gravy in here because I forgot the gravy. But I added one pack of gravy. Now this is the beef neck bone right here, y'all. That's delicious. And it's tender because it falls off the bone. I'm telling y'all, this Instant Pot is very, very something, something that is very invest in, to invest in y'all. And it's delicious. And I need some rice with it and some sweet peas, baby. I'm going to show y'all my plate when I am done plating and feeding the kids. And this is, this is going to be, oh boy. Boy, boy, boy. Delicious. All right, y'all, so here's the finished product. This is the beef net bones and the oxtails with sweet peas and rice. Yes, y'all, look so delicious. Yes. Finna dive in, girl. All right. Delicious. It's the pot, oxtails. Yes, baby. Delicious!